Hello, my friend. I'm happy to see you here. I'm happy to see your dedication. Congratulations. Congratulations. In this class, we're going to talk about vertical farming. Have you heard of vertical farming? We're going to talk about it. Before I start, I ask you, please, like this class, interact with our videos. Here we go. It's an interview. By the year 2025, the world population is expected to rise to 8 billion. In order to grow enough food, it is estimated that 1 billion, 1 billion hectares, almost 2.5 billion acres, of new land will be needed. That is, if the farming methods that are practiced today continue, environmentalists say something must be done if food shortages are going to be avoided. That's why the idea of vertical farming is being discussed at an ECHO conference this week. Maria Gomez, our environmental correspondent, joins me. Maria, what is vertical farming? And where did the idea come from? Maria answers. The idea was developed by Dixon Despomier, a professor at Columbia University back in 1999. Vertical farms are basically high-rise greenhouses that can be built in cities. So, Crops will be grown indoors and in water instead of in soil. And what are the advantages of growing food in this way? Well, supporters say it's more reliable because crops won't be affected by weather conditions like drought or cold it's also more environmentally friendly because waste can be composted and water will be recycled. And because crops will be grown, harvested and consumed in the same urban area, transportation costs will be greatly reduced. So in theory, food should be cheaper too. Please, comment about vertical farming in one paragraph. Write your paragraph here. Share this class with your friends. BVIP at voceaprendeagora.com Thank you. I'm Felipe Gibi. See you next class. Active to passive. The active sentence is Experts expect the population to rise. Passive. The population is expected to rise.